The real charm of Lausanne lies on its lakefront, a district called Ushi. What was once an aristocratic promenade is now the happy domain of commoners, office workers, and roller skaters strutting their stuff. Romantic old-time steamers connect travelers scenically to points all around Lake Geneva. On a crisp day, you can see the French Alps. Chamonix and Mont Blanc are just out of sight. Ushi's sightseeing highlight is a fine park and museum devoted to the Olympic Games. This museum celebrates the colorful history of the Olympics and the founder of the modern games, Pierre de Coubertin. In 1896, after a 1,500-year lapse and in the spirit of world peace, he restarted the games. The exhibit traces the history of the Olympics. Artifacts recall its original ancient Greek beginnings. A century's worth of ceremonial torches speaks to the resilient majesty of an event that endeavors to bring the world together. Highlights from past Olympiads rekindle the thrill of these quadrillennial games. A section dedicated to the Special Olympics celebrates recent inclusivity. Sports fans enjoy recalling their heroes, from the track shoes Carl Lewis used in the 1984 LA Games to the skates of Sonja Henny, the 13-year-old Norwegian ice queen. Surveying gear from each sport, you can follow the evolution of equipment that was clearly state-of-the-art in its day. And you can complete your tour with a look at how the bronze, silver, and gold medals have changed over the years. From the elegant extravagance of Zurich to Lucerne with its iconic wooden bridges, and from Bern, the country's fun-loving capital, to Lausanne with its gorgeous lakeside setting. Swiss cities are a treat to visit. 